What's up, everybody? My name is Grandview. I want to welcome you to a Vibe Call West Radio. This is a platform where I'm going to interview uh, artists and give them an opportunity to tell their story. And um, we're also going to make a song at the end of it. So I want to give the inaugural episode up to someone that I've come to know at a personal level and, um, you know, a person that I really admire, both as a rapper and a person. So give it up for Marzera. What up, Grand? What's going on with you, bro? How you Pre- feeling? Feeling great, man. I appreciate you coming on. Happy yeah, New Year. Absolutely, man. Happy New Year 2023. How's it treating you so far? You know, so I was actually in Florida for a little bit, so I'm able to kind of uh, come back and lock in. You know, right shout on. out to my girlfriend. She was in town. So it was nice to kind of, I feel like when I take a step away, hmm. I'm able to organize my thoughts and then really attack, right on. you know, the new year in a really effective way. So how's your new year been? It's been good, man. I'm blessed, bro. Family's doing good. Wife, three daughters, man. Life is good, bro. No, I love that. So, you know, I kind of, so I, I want to be candid with everyone right now. I've actually kind of. I know Mars on a personal level again, so, you know, I've had some of these conversations with him off Mm. camera, but he was actually one of the reasons why I was so excited to do this series, because I heard his personal story before we actually uh, did our rooftop bars. You can check that on our Instagram. Um, And, you know, kind of on the legs of that, why don't you tell everyone a little bit about your background? So I'm from um, uh, the Valley, San Fernando Valley, West Side, Winneka, you know, Mm. Um, grew up in a good family. Like I said, uh, grew up with both parents. never really went through any type of, you know, tragedy at all. And it wasn't until I was 13 years old when I lost my uncle to gang violence. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear uh, that. Thank you, man. Which kind of, you know, stems from what I do now um, within my music and also on my 9 to 5. Yeah. I'm a CIW. Uh, mm-hmm. I do uh, gang intervention. So I mm-hmm. work That's with amazing. people in that lifestyle. Yeah, You know, definitely. from somebody who doesn't know anything about that, never did any, but I was raised around it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's my contribution to my uncle's death and, you know, what took place in my life back then. Yeah, it's amazing. How long have you been you know, doing gang, in- gang intervention? So gang intervention as an employee, I've been doing for four months, but I feel like I've been doing it, you know, since that situation happened, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? From working with youth, from uh, speaking to people who have lost uh, loved ones to that mm-hmm. lifestyle as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you're able to, you know, unfortunately that you have to go through certain things in your life so that you can identify with people and be able to encourage them in that struggle. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Man, I, I feel like I've been doing it for a while. It's amazing. What was, um, you know, obviously, again, rest in peace, your uncle. What was your relationship like with your uncle? Man, it was real close. People think, like, you know, you lost your uncle, okay, it's it's somebody that's much older than you, but mm-hmm. I was 13 when he passed away, he was 17, Yeah. so we were close, Definitely. so when I was going over and spending the night at grandma's house, yeah. it was to chill with Michael, Definitely. you know, the person who taught me how to swim, person who taught me how to play football, you know, talk to women and all that, yeah. that's, that's Michael right there, Of course. you know, like I a, wanted to be him. It's like a cousin. Yeah. You know, I think we all have that person, you know, we all have that cousin that we connect with in our families, I would imagine that the listeners do as well. So to right. lose that person, did it? Did he introduce you to hip hop, or how has it influenced the way that you make music? Nah, you he, um, he didn't. So unfortunately, he wasn't able to see the hip hop side. But it was because of him that brought out the hip hop person in me. You know, when he died, I wanted to pay a tribute to him. So whether it would be like a spoken word or something, I ended up writing my first rap to, yeah, you definitely. know, to, uh, to a tribute to him. Yeah, and my dad ended up catching me. So I'm right there rapping it in my room, <laughs> spitting the lyrics, and then my dad walks by my window, yeah. he knocks on it, he's like, hey, wh- wh- what are you doing? Exactly. I, I was like, uh, I was rapping. <laughs> and then he's like, all right, well, because we had company, then he's like, I want to hear it later on. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, great. So uh, there was a lot of cuss words in it, and I went and I scratched all the cuss <laughs> words out because I was only 13 years old at the yeah. time. So I ended up showing my dad, and he was like, man, that's awesome. I, I like it. And he just like, do it for this person. Do it for this person over here, everywhere we were at. Of course, yeah. So it was Pops's, you know, support and his encouraging words where it was like, damn, I, I'm still doing it to this day. You know, big shout out to your dad, because I feel like one of the most empowering things is your parents, right? you know, supporting you and, right. just, and, and allowing this creative outlet to go. And what a beautiful catalyst, you know, obviously, you know, again, rest in peace, your uncle, but what a positive outcome this really yeah, led man. you to kind of have. And, you know, really quick before we dive deep into the music, which we will, because he's an amazing artist, um, with the gang intervention, are you seeing, so like, what's it? How's it been? You know, I know you haven't been doing it for too long. You know, I would imagine there's some amazing stories and there's also some, you know, tales that don't have the best outcome. Yeah, like right now I'm kind of dealing with one who um, I wasn't able to reach. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. And he's still alive, you know, uh, and I I pray that he stays alive. Mm -hmm. But his thing was, you know, the situation with his mother because he was a minor. She felt that 
it wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. And she started making complaints about, you know, the whole situation. So, oh, really? like, I okay. wasn't doing enough Got for it. him. You yeah. know, and there's only so much I can do. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I do gang intervention. I'm not your dad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to be the person that's going to save your life. Of course. You know, my, my job is wh- whatever road you decide to go on, I'm going to navigate it and keep you as safe as possible. Like, I'm going to give you, you know, certain you know, options like, bro, you don't have to go this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. And what 100%, you, want you know, it's first off, like I understand where the mother's coming from, you know, right. she, but it's, it's kind of like what you were saying. You can, you know, you can open the door, but you can't put someone in the seat. So hmm. You can lead them to water, but you can't make them drink. Exactly. You know, I was, you know, that was a great segue with the water. Um, you know, I think that's like, so, you know, again, everyone that's listening and like, it was one of the big things that made me excited about the series was, you know, stories like Mars, but it's not just his, background that was so amazing you know like he's a really incredible artist and i kind of want to dig into so i remember you were saying about your uncle you know, that was kind of the catalyst but right from that first you know poem or spoken word what was what did the path look like like how did we get here would you say and with your career right so because i was on that for so long a lot of my early music was about that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying um it's you won't hear it because I didn't put it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I felt like all those years was was to lead me to where I'm at today. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? So you'll go back, you'll listen to Life on Mars. You'll go back and you'll listen to Art of Losing Me, uh, to the project that I'm currently working on right now. You know, mm-hmm. all that right there is what made me who I am today and mm-hmm. the music that I'm producing today. And then for everyone, so how did you know? I kind of know the story, but how did you come up with the name Mars Era? Well, my name is Mario Herrera. Bars. That's it. That was perfect. Mars, that was so smooth. The last three. Era. Yeah, That's and it. I and I kind of want to go back, so I know it's, I, I w- you know I think everyone loves like a good origin story, like everyone wants to n- see what it took for the hero to become the hero. So, how many, you know, what what was your writing process for you writing your first song or cutting your first record? Like, what would you say, you know, when did you attack that? How old were you? When I wrote my first record. Well, you fit, like when you made like your first album, like you said, your Man, first mixtape. First album that was or out mixed there. Mixtape, either or. Yeah. I think I was. I want to say 16 or 17 years mm-hmm. old. Yeah. So was that, that was that was all. I, I feel like a lot of my music, even till today, it is um, from pain. It is from, uh, you know, certain instances that take place in my life. Because like, like my boy, I brought Mooney Red, and he always tells me, like, I know you're not a good speaker. I know you don't like to talk. You know what I'm saying? If my as, wife, he's, if, as he's on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as I'm on the podcast, and, yeah, you know, my wife would tell me, job. like, if she asked me, like, what, what's your day like? I'm like, oh, it's cool. It's good. I'm, yeah. I'm a straightforward person. You know what I'm saying? And I think the the reason my, why my music is so, like, personal and so, you know, like a journal yeah. is because that's the time I let it out. Of course. That's definitely. the time where I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. You're vulnerable. You know, I'm vulnerable now. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying what I can't communicate through words uh-huh. if you're just asking, if we're having a conversation like this and you're just yeah. asking me something. Exactly. I have to sit down and think about it. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I was feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's how it. Definitely. And then, um. With regards to, you know, exactly like being able to communicate, you know, I think a lot of people, one of the reasons why I think we love, we love writing and artists love to write is because, you know, it's, it's cathartic. You're like, you know, you're, you look at it after, even if like, you know, you obviously wait for other people's responses. Sometimes you write a song and you're like, holy shit, I didn't even know that I felt that way. Right. Have you had like a song that you would say kind of like encapsulates that? I don't think it's um, that, but I, I feel like there's a lot of songs where I'm like, man, like. I know this this gift is um, it, it was given to me through through tragedy. It was given th- to me through, you know, um, who I believe in God. Yeah. It, it was all that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and and I just I just kind of like you know give credit to his dad. It's like man, you know that that certain circumstance that I went through wrote this track, mm-hmm. and it, it just brings me back to like man, I I, I I'm glad I'm not there anymore. But I remember when I was there. Yeah, you it's know? a time capsule. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, I think like. Why don't you kind of like show us something that you're really proud of, like writing wise? I would love for the audience to hear it. For sure, man. So, <clears throat> let me think. All right. Bars. 
You better flee the scene when the pen drop and the ink bleed when I send off. This 16 in the men see that I'm Bundy, this my TED talk. And I'm psychotic with the wordplay and I don't play when the beat drop, when the key drop. Y'all need a cop a spare key cause it's weak lock. Fee fi let the foes come and I'm on the way they can hate though. With the beat nice and the whole drum got me feeling like I'm in Vegas though. When I take aim and demand to play like a Vegas shooter with a plan to spray. You may say that my time decay but God will let no man delay. I'm delayed with the chips in and I'm fixed in with the gambling. Wanna battle me? That's a win that I could see no way of happening. I'm hacking them with a machete Sun go bar for bar with the best of them Put the rest of them in the desert Hold my pleasure though, that's on everyone I hits no limit And yeah, the beat gon' help I feel like I'm schizophrenic My stuff speak to myself I'm anabolic with the flow I keep it the bucket, I'm ready to go I'm bringing the terror that's really my error Not giving it up and it really do show Whoa First of all That was, fa- that was fucking fire Thank you, bro And beyond just like the bars Which obviously I mean, the schizophrenic line Talking to myself That was honestly kind of like What we were saying about the page That was crazy <laughs> But like Besides dissecting the words, to me, it's like the flow and the rhyme schemes. Like, was that right. something that you focused on first? Like, those are that's incredible. Yeah. Even with you with no rhythm, like, so where did you? W- what made you want to focus on the flow of your music? So I've I've listened to Mars's music, and it's always the flow is so encapsulating. Like, where where did that stem to from? To me, delivery is everything. Mm-hmm. Because I've heard rappers with dope bars and dope lines, but the delivery lacks. Mm-hmm. And if you can't deliver it, it's that punch. You know? yeah. That's why they call it a punchline. Yeah. It's like you have to deliver it so that I can enjoy that last line that you're trying to communicate. 100%. So, yeah, that is the delivery is the first thing. Yeah. To like that, like that, those triplets at the end of his flow at the end, guys, like that's some really high level shit. So, like, that was fantastic. Thank you, brother. And then so kind of with a like nice little segue. So who are like, would you say the five artists that you listened to the most last year? Last year? Yeah. And I think it's almost every year. Yeah, almost every year. Um, I'm going to say Eminem is number one. Mm-hmm. Um, Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, J. Cole. Mm-hmm. Ooh, who's my fifth person? I'm trying to think. Uh, I promise you they won't be upset if you didn't know. Hey, Chance, actually. I like Chance a lot. We got them all on the board. Yeah. Literally. No, that's, that's awesome, man. I mean, obviously, I love them as well. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Those are amazing. Got some great albums up here. Yeah, no, I think, um, and then, you know, kind of like to sum everything up, what would you say if you could describe what you would like this year to be like in one word? What's the word for this year? Execution. Go into that a little bit. Execution. Everything that I've envision everything that I've spoke that I'm going to do every idea that I have everything that I put on board this is the year that it's going to be executed 100% so execution what do you have planned for this year is there any like shows or any like projects that you would like to like let yeah, the so audience know May 19th I'm going to be dropping if they'll have me uh <laughs> which is my next project uh we're going to be working on a podcast with my boy Mooney Red habitual behavior Ooh, love um, that name I got skits that I want to do so I also do acting as well I do writing as well um, Renaissance man, I love shows. it. Shows, I know me and Grant are gonna have a show this Definitely. year. I already know. I'm already speaking it right now into existence, so that's gonna take place. Definitely. And yeah, man. Hundred percent. Year of execution. That's amazing, man. So again, I kind of want to just say that one of my favorite parts of what I'm doing right now is I'm giving people like you with an amazing story and incredible talent an opportunity to hopefully reach a new audience and just you know have a platform to express yourself. So. Thank you for being the first guest, hey, man. man. I appreciate you so much, bro. And I feel like because of your generosity of exposing us, it's going to expose you on a higher level as well. And I'm believing it. I appreciate it. And that. I'm here for the ride and I support you, Grant. Yeah, of course, man. And like, honestly, kind of on that note, guys, I'm going to be throwing a show in Hermosa Beach. Details are going to be there. Mars is going to be one of the um, acts that we have for the ticket for that night, man. Let's go. There it is. Yeah, man. All right. Vibe Call West, radio episode one. We're done. Yeah, great job. Man. Hey, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Hey. That was awesome. Let's go. That was great, guys. Yeah, yeah this is thank awesome. you, guys, man. Thank you. That was fun. Shoot him in the head. 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 That's a sure way to kill him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him in the head. 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 This filthy phrase, the Big Bang, the star was born today A heavenly body, every be the true sun, the Milky Way The city of fallen angels, we've all lost our halos But our streets are sunset, so the heavens are neighbors on I'm the prince
prince who was promised to next rep a lay Was given dawn so destiny with Tyrion's brain In the game of thrones you either perish or you reign I'll plant my dean's cheeks on that sea one day Now we know I can appeal to your eardrums But can I sell out arenas when the year's done? <laughs> well maybe not arenas More like 20 fans in a ball with a speaker And one fan's my mama Swear I get more streams when I see her tears run See? I'm one of one, the one around you to admit I want your time This the making of a legend vibe I wanna give a big shout out to my man over here Mars Era He killed this shit He killed this shit Look I'm heavily sedated with cadence, accommodated Giving them all I got to give and I'm feeling so obligated Made it a point to be the greatest They ask what the method is The fact that I am not a fan but a force to be reckoned with So who could top mine? My top ten when I drop lines become target practice I'm trying to murder my top five So double dose I don't hold back I wrote that Lie for your depression Expressing on how to Prozac A Cali native with grand views And we all blessed Blessed to be a part of a tribe A vibe called West City of angels and devils will put a dent in y'all They got me checking my daughter's skittles for venting off I'm from the west of the valley I've been engraved in it Yeah I got the eight on my back I feel the ache men I'm keeping the hope alive And really be trying to open eyes Made to be capping the reason I'm keeping my circle small and organized Communication.